Michael Onsot with Great Plains Manufacturing. I'm a design engineer in the tillage division in Tipton, Kansas. Today we're going to talk about the implement command system for the TurboMax line of tillage tools. What we've done with the implement command system is we've taken all the settings that we used to have. You have to get out of the cab to go adjust. Uh, we've moved them into the cab on a ISO bus screen. Um, we're now controlling the depth, we're controlling wing down pressure, and then we're monitoring fore and aft leveling, gang angle, and uh, reel position and down pressure. On the uh, depth control feature portion of, of the implement command system, we have three uh, predefined, user defined um, depths that you can switch back and forth with the touch of a button. Um, it's easily easy to adjust different uh, depths and settings. Uh, you can increment, decrement, up and down on the go and, and adjust the, the depth of the machine all from a touch of the button, a readout that shows the uh, depth of the machine as it's going. The depth control feature of the implement command system works the same way as the, the manual depth stop on the machine. You still run the uh, the SCV on the tractor the same way you would, except for you can change the depth on the go from in the cab, uh, easily going deeper in areas with heavier residue or or uh, combine tracks, sprayer ruts, what have you, um, and then back to your earlier set depth. With the TurboMax tillage tool, what we've known and noticed over the years is as you increase the gang angle, normally, typically it takes less wing down pressure and adjusting the gang angle is easily done from the cab like it always was and now we have the readout on the screen. As you increase the gang angle, now we can easily decrease hydraulic weight transfer on the go from the cab. Hydraulic fore and aft and the hydraulic reel are standard now on the Turbo Max, and one of the things is it takes a lot of hydraulic SCVs to, to run all of these, and what we've done is we're using one SCV, we're using the same one for the hydraulic fore and aft and the reel. With this lock feature, it keeps users from accidentally adjusting the fore and aft of the machine. Uh, you unlock it, and you can adjust your fore and aft. After the cylinder has stayed at rest or isn't sensing any movement for 15 seconds, it automatically locks and then your SCV is now controlling the hydraulic reel feature. Whether you're putting more down pressure to it or raising it completely while going through wet, muddy conditions. We've included a diagnostics page on the implement command system that reads raw sensor voltages as well as open and shorts on the, the solenoid coils for easy troubleshooting. We've included in the implement command system for tractors equipped with dual VTs an easy button to switch the screen to the next available VT on the CAN bus system. For the settings on the implement command system, we have the settings tab and then each individual feature has its own screen with a step-by-step -step calibration process and a factory default for quick and easy adjustment and calibration of the system. The components in the implement command system, we have the ISO bus gateway and the master controller are the brains of the, the system. They're controlling the hydraulic down pressure along with the solenoid valves that control the depth stop. Other components of the system have, we have three rotary sensors, one on the rock shaft and one on the gang angle indicator as well as the hydraulic reel indicator. The fore and aft leveling system has a linear sensor built into the cylinder on the hitch. 